welcome on Entech Screaming Live, streaming live over Sky Sport Next on YouTube, bringing you the final of the New Zealand Secondary Schools Pairs in partnership with Somerset Retirement Villages and New Zealand Secondary Schools Sports Council. This is your commentator Trevor Rayner, assisted by Avon Compton. And we've reached the final between Jordan Keane and Logan Heppel of Oslo, Onslow College versus the defending champions Nathan Trow and Akuhata Keelan from Gisborne Boys High School. Both won their semi-finals by one point. Um, Jordan and Logan 8-7 over Matthew Adlam and Michael Burke and Nathan and Akuhata coming from behind to beat Matthew and Dylan Foster 7-6. The playoff for third will be between Matthew Adlam and Michael Burke from Mount Monganui College and Matthew Foster and Dylan Foster from Gisborne Boys High School. And the final the plate event between Matthew Tosh and Bradley Barton from Burden College in Bacargill versus AJ Bond and Sky Burima from Fielding High School. Players have been assessed over the two days of the secondary school event for their for respecting the school sport New Zealand values of honesty, respect and fair play. And a presentation has been made to Courtney Rawlings from Reparaa College. And the other presentation will be made to Rose Rayner from Caddy Caddy College. Rose has impressed the president of New Zealand Indoor Bowls with the... Um, seems to start every game by saying, I hope you win to her opposition so, and made it to the semi-final of the play. Quite a unique approach. Right here, so we've got um, Nathan and Akohata have changed um, to the orange bowls for the final, so um, just be getting used to the slightly different feel in the hand. They're made out of melamide beads over in Australia by Henselite. And um, the density is always just slightly different for the different colours. The orange is just being fractionally heavier than the blue, so it's just going to pick up that little bit of a weight difference and a slightly different track that they take. Um, Jordan Keane playing here um, has come on in leaps and bounds in the last few years. Um, so age grade um, champion, but also plays um, senior representative level for Hut Valley or Lower Hut. Um, last year played in the top national provincial championship, uh, the Welsh Trophy for them. Okay, Nathan been quite positive here on the first end, lying four down, and he's actually set himself up for the next bowl. Those two blues will possibly both pop out around the jack. So. Again, is he going to back his draw just to draw a shot or cut it to one or two? Coming to the back end, so he looks to be aggressive again. time you never want to drop a, a big number on the first hand it really puts you under the pump for the rest of the game so Jordan he well, he's playing catch up so yeah. Jordan just needs to make it difficult for him if he decides to revert to the draw to yep. with it with his last bowl yeah, the main thing here is you don't want to leave a, a wing bowl out the side to work off and make the target wider you want to dive in to the line 
That's a really good bye bye, Jordan. Excellent. Um, he's left. Nathan with no wing bowls. Nathan's either gone dead draw to cut it down or he's got to go hard through that front orange to try to cut it down. Looks like he's going to pick his draw. This is a great effort. He's reduced it, I would think. Maybe it's two or three. Oh, Hard good. to tell from this angle. Definitely that one. That's three. Three, so three, three blue. That's the three to Jordan Keane and Logan Happel, who lead 3 0. One end played. Great effort there by Nathan. It's always hard after playing a couple of run shots to get that precise draw weight, and he only just went by that play. Logan Heppel is new to the game and uh, played in the lower North Island zone of the one to five year pairs a couple of weekends ago playing lead for Blair Gowan and they've won the zone so he will be in the national um, one to five year pairs final next weekend in the same hall. It's a great initiative by um, New Zealand Little Bowls um, with that one to five year pairs. It's for any new player, um, find another partner from within your geographical zone um, and you play you know, up to your fifth, fifth season at an event and if you win your zone then you go to the national final. Um, so it's you know, really encouraging new people to get in and win a national title. And, um, get the bug for the game because it's a it's an addictive sport once you've once you're hooked. Okay, so you know, sort of medium length in this time. We've got the jack moving around a bit off centre. And sometimes if a um, hand's a little bit tricky to play, um, like this one they are playing now, it sort of hooks away if you're slightly under it. It sometimes makes it easier once that jack's off centre. You can use that swinging bowl to come across here. Just need to stay a little bit wider and a little bit more aggressive. Didn't quite get the jack on the, um, fully on the square, but it's changed it up anyway. Jordan won the singles in this event last year. Be a good backup if he can win the pairs this year. And Nathan's had a very consistent weekend, um, making the semi-finals of both the New Zealand Junior singles and the secondary school singles, and now playing in the final of the. Pairs. So Jordan needs to make this one count here, Trev. Um, he's quite exposed with that one by the head. It was a little bit tentative on the first one, so I imagine this one's going to be at least a foot over to pop his bow up or get through the gap. That's good. That one gives him a little bit more protection. He's playing very good bowls, Jordan. See how Nathan reacts under the sort of early pressure here. Is he going to sort of stay with his game plan of keeping it tight and maybe just try and reduce the count, or is he going to try something a little bit more extravagant to pop the blues out? Imagine he might just have a little niggle. Out, through that outside blue, sort of pop it off and see if you can just follow through a few inches through it. Yep, just a little niggle here. Played that to perfection. Yep, nice. 
a couple of, couple of um, boulders sent down as well. Now, Jordan's got to be fairly careful here if he's having a positive shot at that. If he doesn't pushes that ball out of the head, he is in serious trouble. I'd be a little bit conservative here. You're only one down. Mm. His, his blue ball's locked on here, so he doesn't really, as you say, he doesn't want to move it. He could actually draw a shot around that orange that's seen down it because you get yeah. that nice turn. This looks aggressive. Yeah, I thought he'd be going for this. Oh, happy days, I think. Maybe blue back there. Question is, is that blue exposed if um, Nathan comes down and gets a rub off that side orange? On, his, um, on the right hand side of the screen, they're playing his backhand as the opportunity to sort of slide off the inside orange and sit that blue out for three shots. We'll soon find out. He's, no, he's oh, playing he's his forehand. So he's going to come through the gap and have a look at it. Oh, didn't need that touch. Might have actually it got might the... Might be good enough. Yeah. With the um, camera angle, the blue looks closer than what it is. Yeah, sometimes so. Yeah, optical illusion. Oh, the umpire's on his way over the mat again. So this oh, could be that bowl looks. This could be a tricky one for Kyle. I imagine he'll measure the blue first and then the um, orange at the top of the screen. So then he can move that orange away and then get to the other two oranges. That's nowhere near it. Yeah, oh, comfortably a blue. Happy. Yeah. One blue, so Jordan leads 4 0 after two ends. Playing to a full length jack this time towards the walls of Eads of Downhill for that last quarter of the mat. just finish a little bit further as they get towards that delivery box so you've got to be very precise with your weight when you're going towards the towards the wall down here and it's easy easy to do that as well to just drop that drop that weight off so Good adjustment there. Very the way, Logan. You're still drawing a pop here. You come right here. Yeah. So Jordan's actually calling a change of hand here, thinking that this side, of, this side of the mat's just playing a little bit more consistent in terms of its um, draw line back to the centre. Okay, we've got Good Logan going right around the back. Got some cover around there. Just sitting holding two shots. Right, so it's going to be a battle, battle of the draw bowls for the next couple here. Um, Leeds not being tied on it, so over to the skips to um, show us some great draw bowls in their accuracy. Plenty of speed here from Jordan, just dipping under. Just hard to get that, that perfect line, you're sometimes just under it or just over it. Yeah, that's why the other side of the mats has been played a lot more in 
the uh, previous games that, that we've watched. Nathan's picked that line beautifully. Just still ducked up the way. Correction here from Jordan. Okay, we're just a little bit unlucky there, but his bowl set out. So it can still be sort of there's still a path to the jackal, path to lift out that bowl. We haven't seen it much yet, Trevor, but um, a technique used by some of the high level bowlers is even down the centre of the mat to use a shimmy or even a wobble on your bowl to counteract it. We haven't seen it in, the, in this game. I, I saw um, Nathan Trowell playing a couple of those. Um, earlier on in the day where the kitty had been moved over the side and he played the played a wobble bobble bowl wobble down the maybe mat to hold it up maybe if they um, get a bit more aggressive later in the game you might see the jack pushed out to the edge it's quite well, I think he's playing aggressively here mm -hmm. playing that hand He's going to get it to dip right around. Yep, well that's good. No, it's set up nicely now. Jordan needs enough of bowling head. Either get a follow him down on the same hand. Yep, that's what he's going to do. Yep. Judging from that gesture in the head, he's going to play the same bowl as, as Nathan just played. No, no. And his blue bowl is exposed. A big opportunity here. Opportunity here for Nathan. Because even if he's slightly narrow, if he gets a split, gets a bit. Of, even if he gets a bit of the orange first, he's going to get a result. No, even if he's only a centimetre skinny, he slides off the off the front. The orange slides off the front blue into the blue itself. Big opportunity here. Yeah. Bumpa. Oh, great bowl. Great bowl. I think that orange there is in. Yep, the hand's gone up for the umpire. <laughs> There's a lot of finger gesturing at the head <laughs> by both players. And um, you see this quite often in this stage there. Um, players don't, don't, stand, don't stand there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Here we go. Yeah, often players just go straight for the umpire um, at, at this stage of a tournament. You want someone that uses um, nice and calm, steady hands. And That's it. three, and that one has to be it. Oh, yeah, easy. Four right. shots. Back all square. Four all after three hands. Four to Nathan Trowell, Nakuhata Keelan. It's four all after three hands. Great bowl there by Nathan. You see this in funnels quite a bit. It can be high scoring. Um, as people are getting a little bit tired and they might have a loose end and the opportunity you know, presents itself. Good speed there again by Akata. He's really zoning in on that jack now. Um, he's got a lovely follow through in his delivery. See, um, like I think it's just a little bit more sort of jerky in his delivery. He's just doing up and I'm not sure. He just wants to look to lock his body in a little bit more so he's got that weight control. I felt he played over top of it a bit as he delivered it. Mm. I know the feeling well. <laughs> oh, okay, had a brilliant bowl. He's, he's really settled into his groove now. Yeah.
just just short. He's yeah, it's just ah. playing over the top of it a little bit. Yeah, and this yeah, this is coming back to the centre of the hall where it's slightly uphill, and Logan may have not picked that as quickly as Akahara, who had the benefit of playing in a similar position for the um, semi-final. The mat has been um, moved slightly in a different. Um, Mat, so it has it um, as you, so it's got a slightly different speed. Right, that one, you get around it, and sitting on that orange. Look Looks like Jordan's getting Logan to play a little, something a little bit more positive here, and half the time it doesn't matter if you don't get the shot, but if you change away, angles on a head. Oh, he's played that nice. very well. Yeah. And that's something Jordan might know about his lead that he can. Rely on Logan to be up, and he's pretty seems pretty handy with it. Okay, so um, there is a playoff um, for the third position, the bronze medal um, for the championships, and the two Foster brothers are leading um, seven two over Adam and Bert. And in the plate final, um, Bond and Barima are leading two one over Tosh and Barton after three ends. And sorry, the um, third place playoff 7-2 um, to the Foster Brothers, that was after four ends. from Jordan. Just got it nicely in between the jack and the orange. Nice back toucher. So Nathan's thinking here, um, you know, there's a temptation to be probably more aggressive on this ball if he's going to do something, because um, he won't have the last ball at the end. It looks like he might just be drawing into sit. So the jack, they'll set the ball on jack over. Yep, just keeping it tight. Just, just, just off. Ducked a little bit, it needed to be a little bit wider, not a lot. He can play quite aggressively with this next one. We'll see what Jordan does here. Just drawing the other hand, I think, to change the angles. And Jordan might look to replace that um, orange orange bowl that's in the head. No, he's going right around the back, eh? Covering those oranges, he's maybe a little bit worried. Nathan might have a go at the blue into the jack to get some movement, or even the outside orange on the other hand. Right, makes that option look a little less attractive, but... I suspect that's what he still might play, unless he... Yeah. Uh, I think that's what he might play. Yeah, just might look to tip that orange up, you know, with only a roll and a bit on it, rather than, you know, three or four before. He could have afforded to be a little bit more positive. Yeah, I've seen him play these shots a few times the weekend. He usually plays a good weight judgment, turn it over a couple of times. He's a bit harder than we both thought. And he's got the follow through he's and the follow through for two, two touches. Oh, happy days. Yep, well, he hit it on the right side. If he was going to go quick, he had to use his follow through. So that would have been in his thinking. You know, if you hit the bowl off centre, then you know you're the driving bowl, running bowl's going to follow through on a certain line into the head. Now, there could be a big opportunity here for Jordan if he. Um, place. Yeah, look where he's placing his foot. He's, yep. he's so he looking at that, but he's got to get this a long way apart. I reckon if he, he can go for that and say if he actually went underneath it, there's actually a gap with blue and orange. If he hits, might actually pop the outside orange out on the jack back up the mat as well. So there's a couple of different options here. But as you say, um, Trev, don't die wondering. He's setting himself up to play that plant. Yep. I reckon he get even if he gets it square, the happy days, or if he's slightly under, his bowl might cannon through the head and still do something. 
Yeah, look, look, oh. look at that lucky. He hit the ball he wanted to, but it had to be really square to mm. move it on to that. It's two orange. I would say two orange. The Nathan Trail and Akohara Keelan lead 6 4 after five ends. Six straight points on the trot, to say. After four ends. Singles champion sitting in the background watching this. side of the mat on your screen which you know, if you're under the line it sort of rips away quite quickly if you're out there on the wide it sort of it comes back up but very slowly so it's surprising on the other games we saw people sort of playing down the other side of the mat good wait again but just it's, it's a harsh yeah, green there just that you only have to be a fraction out and you end up more than a fraction out at the business end. Yeah, especially on a longer end of the mat, right? It's, there's more variation as you play more weight and it goes to like, towards that down. Here's right. a good bowl. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So once again, it's all about the um, skip straw game here. <laughs> Very good speed and line on the outside of the jet. Nathan made that difficult hand look very easy. easy. <laughs> you haven't seen too many um, touches down there, but it's an opportunity for Jordan to pull that jack back. See what kind of weight it goes with. It looks very controlled. Oh, it held. held from. It looked like it was coming in on a good line and it just held. It was good weight for the shot he's trying to play, but squeeze that jack off and bring it back to his back blue. He might have been better to maybe play the other hand to try and get the jack through, and if you're slightly skinny, you sort of rest, miss, that. rest in the oranges, yeah. or if you're slightly wide, you've got the orange there, but he's probably also thinking, oh, I've played this hand um, on other occasions, and it's a more consistent one. So, so why he's six and a half a dozen, a half a dozen of a, the other. Just trying to get around back here. Cover that blue off. Yeah, great effort. Yep. Okay, so Jordan is making that change now um, that we've called. Let's see if he's um how much weight he uses. Probably just wants to be that sort of foot or so over. So you want to be reaching without being too heavy. He's played it fairly positively. Yeah, he's big played chance, this yeah. very well. Yep, great speed. A little bit unlucky, but it's it position. only one down. Yeah, position's there from. I'd say he's only one down and he's got a chance. Drop back into the head. 
just going out a bit wide and it's probably out um, Jordan because there's enough of a channel of bowl to work off now. Oh, I've got some more score updates here. So in the third place playoff, um, the two Foster boys are leading, nine points to two over Adler and Burke after five ends. And in the plate final, we've got Bond and Barima leading six points to one over Tosh and Barton, and that's after six ends of play. Yep, Jordan having a little look at it, mate. Yeah, just, just, just held out a bit. A wide, yep. just held. Possibly, possibly going a little bit too aggressive. He may have been thinking, hit the front blue into the orange, get get the back orange for three. He seemed a mile wide for it, so. I think we'll get the umpire called here again. Neither player wants to measure themselves. Taking out one orange. Measuring for the second. One orange. Nathan and Akuhara lead seven four after five. So now seven unanswered points on the trot. Um, over three ends. So Jordan and Logan really have to get back in the game here. We're going on the back on the uphill um, way towards the centre of the horse. So Logan, last time was a little bit short, so has to just be a little bit more positive here and put Akuhara under some some pressure. He's got a little bit of opportunity here. Yeah. Okay, it's a finish of six inches short. Good drain, Matt. Yeah. The, the green's good there from Logan. The green was really good. Just got to let it go. Yeah, just falling off his action a little bit. I think it's um, his hand that he uses for stabilisation is just yeah. moving a little bit. And might just be some news as well, right? National Secondary School final is not something you make every day. Just needs to follow through. Like all ball sports, you've got to follow through. He's, yeah. might be getting to him a bit unfortunately yeah, and often it's the, the tr harder you try the worse it, worse it yeah. gets it's often if you're Michael not hard it's looking very composed here yeah. drawing the shot I think the main thing for Logan is just to get something on the mat close, you know somewhere behind and give Jordan a chance yeah it's um often you can have a bad day or you get a bit tired towards the end of Sometimes it was just saying to myself, I'm, I'm being outplayed, I just need to give, well, I'll skip some options, give them, give, give them some bowls around the back. I think it'll be uh, damage limitation or damage control here from Jordan on this end. It's getting very, very tough. be to follow him down. This is pretty handy as well. It's a very good bowl here. Oh, it just went by. One and it looks better than four. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, that's <laughs> a great bowl when you're four down and 
Oh, you've got some dead draw, and you've you've dropped 700 points on the last three ends. It's it's a good confidence builder. Nathan's ruthless, so he's coming back and shuts the door. Good thing is, I think Jordan's got that Jordan's big blue. got a shot on now. Yeah, he's got something there with his first ball, gives himself a chance. He's a, an aggressive player, I think he'll play this. Yes, he's shaping up, he'll come down, play with weight, try and remove the two oranges, split them out of the head. Very controlled weight, he's getting the dip, it's well played. Yes, great ball. Unlucky. But I think great he's ball. got one, so got that pretty well, really. Yeah. Nathan's having a bit of a look at the head now. Is he going to come down this right hand side again on his backhand and try and lift that shot? Um, Orange up and over. That's what he's playing. It's going to be. He's got a bit of a split to work with there. So. Yep, it's positive speed. Just might not break back from. Yeah, it just holds a little bit with the speedy. Mm. Need to be fairly direct at it. He would have loved another bowl now, though. Yeah, now I wonder if this is an opportunity for Jordan to pull out a bit of a wobble ball through that gap. Because when he plays run shot through those front yes. two blues, it ripped away quite a bit. I wonder if he could just play an overdraw with a little bit of a shimmy or wobble on it. To, um, get through the hole to get a bit of jack and make two or three out of it. The other way you can do it is, of course, if you play out of the um, extreme inside of your, of your delivery box, it looks like. He's sort of going over that's there, where he's playing, playing from. from. So yeah. that means your bowl holds out for a little bit longer. So that's the other way you can get through those gaps and, and hold up for the jack. Oh. Positive. Dip under that. Oh, that's very unlucky, that run. Very unlucky if it had sat, just sat it, down. That was sat down the other way, mate, would have made two out of it. It was, it was a real, you know, bowls are, your bowls are like that, right? Sometimes it does, it falls the wrong way or back up on its side, not the way you normally think. Well, we don't know what's been conceded here. We'll have to wait for the score to be put up on the board. He's going first. Oh, Akahara's going first. And we've got a result in one of the other games. Um, so, this okay, the score's now 8 4. It was 1 1 to Nathan and Akuhara. They lead 8 4 after six ends. And uh, a final result on the plate final is won by Bond and Barima. Seven points to four over Tosh and Barton. So, um, well done to AJ Bond and Sky Prima for winning the secondary school Piers plate final. Very good, very good win for AJ Bond. I think it's the third year she's come here. She used to play with Blair Gowan as its lead. This year she's skipping with a new player. And um, AJ has a lot of fun with her bowls. And it's good to see her coming through and getting a prize. Yeah, and um, I think her mother's been taking her out to a few open tournaments. I think I saw her up at um, Hawke's Bay last year, so okay. um, playing a few open events around the place. Um, so good to see her um, coming along and improving her bowls. Right, Logan on the downhill run. This is far better, getting something around the back. And just slip by. They're um, persisting going on this side of the mat down towards the wall and making it hard for themselves, I think. Um, the other games, we saw people playing the forehand or the left hand side of the mat and the head's being a little bit tighter, so it might be a good thing for Jordan because at least it leaves it open for him. This looks like a good adjustment for Logan. 
holds it holds up. That's good enough. Yeah, pretty handy. Um, right, so in the third place playoff for the bronze medal, uh, the Foster brothers are up um, 11 points to three over Adlam and Berg. So it's almost good night nurse there. Eight points the difference. Um, Adlam and Berg probably need a big number, four or five, to sort of have a chance of squaring it up after nine. Nathan's come down with his first bowl. He's, he's grabbed a piece of the kitty. He's got the shot. Gordon's following him. Playing on that difficult hand on his backhand. Looking like a good line. Just ducking, sitting the shot. Again. One blue. Jordan holding one. Nathan be over the draw here trying to suck that jack round to the oranges. Yeah, he's got a good line here. Yeah. He's got it. He's picked yeah, that up. Moved it back. It's of limits. Jordan's options just a dead drawing for one. holding the shot here with that with that blue bowl but he really needs to score now he hasn't scored since the second end if Nathan can just get it off all that make life difficult for Jordan it's going to give him a good advantage going on to the last two ends Quite a ride, but it's handy though. It's handy. It's sort of stops restricts the options. Yeah, it's really going to be just a dead draw weight now to get back to that um, bowl and jack. He's oh, he's got playing one. it, so he must be holding the shot. Yep. So it's one to Jordan, Keen, and Logan Heppel. And they trail five, eight, after seven ends. All right, so it's still in it. Still in it, two ends to go, three the diff. Okay, they just need to get one or two and go into that last end. Of Shorter the end. Yep. And then once again, it's probably good for Logan coming on the uphill where he's been slightly short. going into that last end. Another solid opener from Akuhara. He's just in the zone, showing great consistency. This is a better one from Logan. Very nice. Place playoff. Uh, they are playing out the ninth end, but the uh, Foster boys are up 12 3, so they'll have secured the, um, uh, the bronze medal. And they have a good bowl here from Logan. Very good bowl Very good. by Logan. That's his best bowl for a, for a little while. He's got a nice bowl in the back right behind the jack. You found two good ones there. Holding Trev. one. Got the jack a bit shorter and, and um, you know, given Jordan a good platform to play here. Here comes a response from Marco Hara. Nice. Set the shot, bowl for shot. It's nice, but it's a nicely packed tight head. This is a really good head. Jordan, all concentration. A 
just a wee bit tentative, but Just saw his body language after he let go, sort of just lifted off the shot a little bit in the, yeah. in the follow through. It's easy to do when you play a short end because you're not playing all that much speed, so you can just drop off your green or wide quite easily. Like this. Yeah, Nathan was just trying to get around the back. Um, it's probably helped Jordan out there. He's got a bit of a channel to work with now. Although he's got that channel now, Jordan has to be careful of the way he only wants that jack moving um, you know, a few a few inches rather than feet. So he should change hand and come back under off that bowl that Nathan gave him. Oh, that might be enough for shot. Yeah, he might have the shot. And Got a good opportunity here with his last bowl if Nathan doesn't change it. I w Nathan can't attack this, I don't think, without a, a little bit of risk. So, I yeah, there's no entry point on the left hand side there that's easy. I think with the orange bowls on that hand, it'd be hard to. I mean, you can draw in there and it would be just a third shot. Yeah, he's got, it depends what he wants to do, whether he's thinking of a couple of shots ahead. Mm. Is he maybe just trying to set his orange down on his back end, try to back end it and set it down? That's what he's looking at. Well, that's loosened it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's not quite as nice now as before, it was just. Um, that blue was pushing the closest orange out and now it's pushing through Jack if he lifts that ball up. He's got two catches but it's the the weight precision. So you get it to the two blues out there but not too far. Or likewise not enough and it sits in that black, uh, back orange. It's probably whether he's holding one or not. Whether he's just going to take a chance that um, Nathan misses on his last. I think the way he's playing in game situation, you've got to, got to play this. So I wouldn't want to die wondering, playing something half-hearted half and leaving a, an obvious shot for the opposition. All Nathan needs to do is play, through the, yeah. play the same bowl again through the outside orange and pop the blue off. So I think loads, um, Jordan has to play this and give himself, or give himself a chance of getting a couple. Thinking of his options here. At least he knows on this hand with weight, it's holding, so really you can go straight at it. And he has got the orange on the inside to rub off, he just doesn't want to be wide and take his bowl out. Oh, he's got the gap, ouch. He could have ended up with a lot of blues there if he'd got that mm. half bowl. It actually ripped, him quite, ripped away quite a lot. Mm. I mean, it was just on the centre line. After, if, you, if he's like a couple of inches wide, it probably would have gone dead straight, but where he came down, it just started ripping away. I thought he might actually get that the nick off that front orange. Let's see. I think Nathan just plays up to it like he did last time. Enough weight to pop the blue and sit there for one or two. Just going to be a bit wide, and that's that hold we were talking about, Trevor. Yes, yeah. He didn't play much weight, and just did nothing for him. So, we Jordan played a truckload, and it um, just um, dove across the head. Well, that was um, one to Jordan and Logan, and the score is six eight, playing the last end. Six eight after eight. Well, it's all to play play for here. Two, so Jordan and Logan there. Close enough to be exciting. Yeah, two two for an extra end, or three for the win, and just 
Nathan Okaha to just want one. Go, they can go down one or get one to win. Good start, Halo. And Logan's got his weight nicely on the downhill run here. Yep, good starter. Okay, how does actually going that overhand that I've been talking about? That seems a little bit more consistent on the draw. He's made the change because if he really has missed, was coming down this way a little bit. Speed's good again. Logan changed his hand with his second pole, did he? Oh no, he played the same way. Hako Harder's back to his backhand. <laughs> Looks like they could see something funny, Hako Harder. Uh, had a half smile there. Probably just a bit of banter to relax, you know, teammates. It's quite good in it whilst you've got a good, good relationship with your team, you can have a few jokes on the man, it helps you relax a little bit. Well, you can't get any further back than that one. <laughs> Logan needs to give Jordan a second ball to work with here. You let this one go better. He might grab the white. Oh, just under. Good effort. Half an inch more, yeah. Granny would have had a real good position. Also helped Jordan out, but it's brought that up for Blue back into play. So if Jordan get this first one right, it sets him up for you know, two shots to get that extra end. as well. Right. Can feel the tension here myself, Favon, I think. Second bowls from both skips are crucial. Now Jordan's got to make something happen here. He can only play his backhand. He's trying to get two. Yes. Yeah, so really just draw that jack a few inches and you know, give him that opportunity to get to. Just going to dive under, is it? But it's still there. Um, Nathan will be playing his forehand, looking to draw right on the jack. Played positively the previous one because he was trying to make sure he reached those blue balls. But I think if he draws one right on the jack, he shuts the door. There's one bowl to come. going to play Jordan's shot, Jordan's hand. Interesting. There's an old adage that I've heard many times, draw to the danger. He's trying to, just need an extra little foot to get to those plays. Well, it's not an easy shot, but Jordan's got, just got to be a little bit overweight here. Just that kind of two feet to get the jack to squeeze off the orange and to his blues. I don't think there's really anything near the other hand because he's probably going to move the jack towards that other orange. So. Yeah, he's only got the one hand to play. 
nothing's been set up for him. I think he can afford to be a little bit more positive now because his, his blue that's coming through that he's playing doesn't need to hang around. No. Like two shots. He's got two blues here to move it to. So he can play a little bit more positively, but still, as we've seen on this hand, this, this hand, this man, that it's just hard to get that breaking point just Standing right. Standing there considering his options. He's getting down. Right, so this is the money bowl. This has to be make or break. I think he thought as he let that go that he was going to lift it as he. So that's one orange to Nathan Trow and Akuhara Keelan. Nathan might play his last bowl. And they win the New Zealand Secondary Schools Pairs final 9 6. Second year in a row, back to back. Well done. Yeah, yeah excellent game of bowls. And well done to Nathan Akuhara and Jordan Keaton and Logan. Good in the tail series. Going, going next, um, obviously watched a great final for the 2020 secondary school peers. Um, now Jordan, now I've obviously seen you quite a few times on the uh, mats before. Um, would this be one of the highlights that you've had? Or? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's it's way up there uh, with that and last year in the secondary school singles. Uh, but yeah, this will be definitely especially with Logan. He's improved so much recently over the last few weeks. So Logan, how long have you actually been playing this game? Two years. Two years, and um, so yourself, you feel like it's a game that you might play in the future? Uh, yeah. like. And, and do we think we're going to see the name Logan and Lights for the uh, Hutt Valley and all that type of stuff down the track, maybe playing rep fixtures and what have you? Maybe. <laughs> uh, Jordan, what about you for next? I mean, obviously you're quite passionate about the game, so next year, what's the idea? Oh, I want to be able to uh, be in the Hutt Valley Patterson team again. Um, I had a great year last year, and I want to have that opportunity again. I'll be back here next year. I've still got uh, next year and the year after. Um, but I want to try to get another one of these titles. That'd be great. Hey, anyway, guys, well done on the um, silver medal and all the best for the future. Cheers, guys. Thanks. OK, we'll just get the uh, winners in here. Obviously, back-to-back uh, -back, uh, champions. So, uh, Nathan, well done. Thank you. Shake your hand. Well done. Uh, so I know we talked earlier before, but how does it feel to win back-to-back -back tires? We'll go. Uh, the same for me, I guess. Uh, it's 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 a pretty cool event. Um, I enjoy playing with Aku, and yeah, it was our day today, so it was good to defend our title. Okay, and so likes you guys, obviously next year, big year, maybe come back for a three-peat. Yeah, if I'm not taking a test for the army. Yeah, I'll be coming back. Okay, and obviously um, Gisborne going strong with the juniors. What about what about next year? What ambitions have you got outside of the junior bowls for you guys? Um, probably bring some other high schools like Lytton High, and maybe a few more from Boys High coming through. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Well. Anyway. Well done, guys, on the uh, gold medal back-to-back -back winners. Um, absolutely huge effort and I look forward to seeing you guys on the mats in the future years. Okay, So we'll just move into the presentation part of the evening before we sign off. Okay, thanks. Okay, we come to our presentation time for the secondary school Indoor Bowls Pairs for 2020. Uh, first of all, we'll present the plate, which was won this year by Sky Barima and AJ Bond, representing Fielding High School. Thank you, Mum, for taking me here. <laughs> okay, uh, third place in the championship event 
went to Matthew and Dylan Foster from Gisborne Boys High School. Okay, the runner-up uh, in a fairly good final there from Onslow College was Jordan Keane and Logan Heppel. <laughs> and Jordan's never short of a few words, so I'll get him to say some now. Uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming along this weekend. It's been a great event. Um, I'd just like to thank NZAB, everyone who helped organise it, because it can't happen without you guys. Uh, to everyone that we played. Um, we had a lot of good games over the weekend. Um, and Nathan, Aku, uh, great final, guys. You played really well. OK, and our winners, uh, defending champions, do it again. So that has actually happened before. Sheldon Baggery Howley and uh, I'm not sure of his first name, C. Tremaine won it two years in a row a wee while back, and then Sheldon won it with someone else the following year. Uh, but this year, uh, same as last year, Nathan Trell and Akahata Keelan from Gisborne Boys High School. <laughs> Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the North Wellington and NZIB for hosting this event. Um, we've been through a strange year, so um, thank you to you guys. To all the um, umpires and supporters for staying around and watching afterwards. Um, cheers to the people we played, Jordan and Logan, and cheers to Matt and Dill for a good semi-final. And Cheers to Aku for playing with me and we'll be keen to get this three years in a row next year. <laughs> Don't go too far away. OK, um, we have got a couple of more presentations, the first of which is for the player of the tournament and uh, probably no surprises in the end. We had... Nathan Trowell with, I think it was a third equal in the singles, and winner of the pairs. So Nathan Trowell is the winner of the Tauranga <laughs> Trophy for Player of the Tournament. And I'll now pass over to Michael Lawson to say a few closing words and one more presentation. So thanks, Neil. So obviously on behalf of Enslie B, um, big thank you to obviously North Wellington, uh, everyone that's been involved, uh, umpires over the weekend, uh, but a big special thank you to uh, the parents, mums, dads, the teachers, and obviously the schools that get in behind this event. Uh, it's really great to see so many schools. It'd be great to see a few more. Um, so let's hope for a bigger season and maybe a <coughs> COVID-free season next year, which will be a great help. Um, but to the bowlers, I mean, this weekend's all about you guys, um, and it's great to see the spirit that the games are played in. Uh, I managed to mark a game yesterday, and I think I've seen some of the greatest sportsmanship I've ever seen. So I've actually got a wee special prize here to give to Rose Rayner. I'd like to come forward. <laughs> um, uh, I watched Rose and Courtney play a game of singles the other day, and believe me, it's the first time I've ever seen someone holding the win and wishing the other person all the best and hoping that they would actually win the game as well. Um, so, Rose, well done on that. I've got a wee... Okay, so, hey... 
On behalf of NZIB, again, thank you to Sky Sport Next um, and hoping everyone has safe travel home and we'll look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you. Thank you.